In the shop, we have a 2008 M6 with a V10 SMG transmission. The customer complaint is the car starts up, but it will not go into gear. The codes that are in it are 4F80, 4F82, 4F85, 4FAO, um, which are a bunch of sequential manual gearbox uh, like one reverse, not plausible. Uh, SMG42, not plausible. So it's basically saying it can't get into gear. This car has a standard clutch in it. I'll show you in a second, uh, but it does not have a clutch pedal because it's an SMG. It's all uh, electro computer controlled. Usually a technician would diagnose these things by just holding their foot on the clutch pedal you know, going in and out and then feeling the, active, the activation of the clutch. You can't do that because there's no clutch pedal on this car. What we do is we revert to computer diagnostics. We request from the SMG computer, uh, you know, what's happening with the clutch. Uh, it reports back and it was basically saying that it could not achieve the slave cylinder uh, length. Um, so at that point, that's when we said, the transmission had to come out and we had to inspect the clutch. When we pulled the transmission out, uh, the throw up bearing came off into two pieces. There's a bunch of rust inside here, which that's not good. And it came out in two pieces. The brand new one is just a one piece throw out bearing. So this is the brand new throw out bearing. The old clutch and flywheel assembly um, is right here. So here's the flywheel, here's the clutch disc. And if we look at both sides here, um, we're really, really worn. We're almost down. This rivet is almost even with the clutch material. Uh, then same thing on this side. Uh, the rivet is really, really close to the, uh, the, the material, the clutch material. I mean, it's almost just even. Uh, so the clutch disc is worn out. That will make the, the slave cylinder travel too far and cause this problem. The throw out bearing sits right here. And then what it does is it pushes against this giant spring. I don't know what the actual pressure of the spring is, but it's a couple thousand pounds. And when it pushes against that and overcomes that spring pressure, uh, it releases this disc that is sandwiched between the flywheel and the clutch pressure plate. So that, that's, that's what the assembly looks like when it's installed in the car, just like that. And when it pushes against that, uh, the transmission and engine decouple. This is actually a real SMG transmission, unlike the BMW E46 M3 that had the, the same SMG transmission, but it had an H pattern tail shifter in the back and it, it was electro hydraulically controlled with an assembly back here and it, and it basically just kind of mimicked what your handwork would do from first through sixth gear. This is a totally different setup. It's actually sequential. There's shift forks and rods on a hydraulic setup in here. There's uh, four of them and they shift back and forth like this and they achieve each gear. So first and then second and then third, and it pulls them in and out. This is the last revision of SMG before they came out with a dual clutch transmission. Then all this went away. This is all gone now. So now it's all dual clutch. This is a single clutch car. We're gonna put a new clutch in it and get it fixed and get it driving again.